um, it, you were coming up as the hermit and you were looking at this ace of pentacles and then you were looking at the two of pentacles and you were looking at the four of cups. Um, so you're looking at rejection, looking at an offer, looking at a decision um, after a tower moment and, and shutting everybody out. Um, and the when I asked what the male energy that you were responding to was, it was pure, unadulterated Capricorn. So... Um, so I'm saying this because, because that energy may come out in this reading, and the disadvantage to that is that if you're not dealing with Capricorn, this may not be your reading. But we'll see what happens, okay? You are so on to this person. You're coming up as the high priestess right now. Your intuition is dead on. I mean, your concerns are your heart, you know, because your heart is true. Um... Uh, the energy that you've already put into this. And I mean, you've put your all into, you've, you applied your creativity and your love and uh, you're nurturing everything into this. I feel like you're just frozen at a choice point right now. And uh, what's guiding you is your intuition. Yeah, I really feel like you're dealing with a cat bee. Okay, that's you. Um, I'm going to switch decks now. I'm sorry if you're not dealing with Capricorn, but I, I saw this energy come out in the pre-shuffle. I knew this was going to happen. What went wrong, okay, between Sag and this person? What's the problem? Can we go into the past, please? The past? Thank you. So right away, I'm feeling like um, ninety nine percent of this connection was about you giving. You know, it, it may have been physical. I'm just seeing this other person just enjoying you, like eating you like a piece of cake, and enjoying every morsel. <laughs> Sorry, and then they would just clear the area. Um, yeah, this person enjoyed eating this piece of cake. Okay. <laughs> I do think that what you wanted was some stability uh, with this person. Um, <laughs> they were selfish is the biggest problem. Yeah, they didn't realize they were dealing with the Empress. Okay. I'm feeling like every time the idea of love or commitment came up, this person would just take off. Um, they would literally just... Yeah, I mean, they, they, what went wrong was they needed to make a choice in love. They needed to make a choice, all right? I don't think they made a choice is the problem. It's a lack of communication as well. I don't. The fact that I feel like you and this person were very much in love and are, it wasn't communicated. It wasn't communicated. Yeah. It wasn't communicated by you. And it wasn't communicated by your person. There may have been some news that came in about this third party. I am seeing that there. It may have been just thrown right in your face. You know, the third party could have been someone that this person, it, it's ten of cups, it's not ten of pence energy. Yeah, and I feel like what you did was you raised your sword. I know usually you have a bow and arrow, um, but you actually did. Um, you did raise your sword when it came to this issue. Yeah, you're coming up here as um, as the strength card and the queen of swords. So I believe that you did what you had to do. Um, you were very you strained your emotions and you and you cut them out um, because of this. You had to do this because you felt like um, it's almost like you said to them in the beginning, I don't compete. This is not my game. You know, so I don't compete. You know, you don't need... Okay, Saji, we're going to look at your person now. Um, I shuffled a um, the Gilded Tarot specifically for your person's feelings for you, okay? Yeah, again, um, this is just uh, repeating itself. They're either looking at a decision. Can we clarify this, please, his feelings on Sag's persons? <laughs> There's your card. Um, 
I feel like they now feel like they're lucky to have you. Um, even if it's over, they did feel that way before as well. Um, <laughs> there's your temperance. This is your major arcana card. Oh, come now. I don't know what this, I feel, feel like they're hoping that your, this does, that your desire for them doesn't die. I was just, I had just had this image of water being poured over the fire in the cup that you're holding. Yeah, I mean, now, just look at their feelings for you now. Two cups. Um, so I feel like they think that, um, <laughs> they're feeling like, it's a, this connection is vulnerable right now. And if they don't do something, uh, it's going to degrade or something. I feel like they're, um, yeah, you, I think you've definitely either blocked them or, um, or you've said something. You've shown your hand, not the whole thing, um, because they're seeing you as, um, as ready for mind games yeah they know that they can't get away with these mind games because what you, they think what you're going to do is assume that everything um is a trick which with this person it might be i think you're taking the right position uh you're very guarded they know this okay how are they feeling about savage yeah they so they <laughs> you've definitely blocked them they feel like you're not going to change your position no matter what um Again, same cards repeating themselves. Um, they want something to change and they want it to change now. Uh, how is Sag's person feeling about Sag? Yeah, and again, they want to offer you a new cycle of stability. They want to change everything. They don't want you to walk away. There's an angsty feeling that I'm getting um, from this person. Yeah, and you're the Nine of Cups. How else are they feeling? Yeah, they're, they're anticipating everything. That, um, so right now, they're not, they're still not telling you how they feel. This is huge amount of strength in their emotions, but they're holding them in. Feel like they're holding their breath. Page of Pence again, they want to offer a new cycle of stability. How are they feeling about Sag? Yeah, they, they just, they're, they really feel like it, like, like that's it. They truly feel like you've had it and you may, you may have. Um, they are expecting you to draw your sword. Um, if they come around, it's like you're not even going to invite them in. You, um, but they, I mean, they desire, there's so much desire they have for you. Uh, it, you're coming up, their feelings for you is nine of cups, nine of cups, nine of cups. Um, so I'm getting a little bit of a possessive uh, energy right now. Um, it's this is mine. Uh, don't worry. It's not you know in a, you know in a in a an illegal way, but it's a it's a possessory kind of. Um, I don't know how you would describe. Yeah, I, I mean they're they're seeing you as the Queen of Cups, and they're feeling. Um, it's like that side of them, um, like they before they wouldn't they wouldn't at all. Um, be guided by emotion or um, or even acknowledge them. And now they're just drowning in it. Yeah, and they're looking at a terrible lie that they told. <laughs> they feel, they feel a bit cheap, actually. They feel um, a little bit scummy. Yeah. They're, um, it, I'm just going to give you an, an image of how they see themselves compared to you. You're the Queen of Cups. You're the Empress. They're the guy... <laughs> In the Seven of Swords, the person who's sneaking off, um, who's just, you know, stolen and cheated, and he gets away with it. So he felt like he, he's feeling like he got away with this, but he knows he didn't. Because at the same time, he um, he's panicking and he's feeling, yeah, he's feeling, um, he's feeling like he died. He's feeling like the walking dead is what he's feeling like. He's definitely thinking about this a lot. How else? So we're going to go in a minute. Yeah, I was about in my mind. I just said, what What can we expect from this person next? And and it answered right away. So this uh, he's going, this person is going to try 
um, to revive the connection. I mean, oh God, Sag. So you're going to have to do something about this, about letting, um, letting your guards down. Because what I'm seeing, I'm seeing this filter. I've talked about this before. So this situation has affected you so much that um, it, there is a danger that all the decisions that you make, and I feel like there's an important one coming up, okay? Um, will it, you know, anything that's offered to you, you'll immediately categorize it as trickery. So this is something that you have to sort of re um, resolve in yourself. I'm seeing good cards here. Um, so I'm, I've got King of Vessels and Page of Stones, um, and I did ask that question. So I think what you're going to get, um, however, so their intentions are great. Um, Page of, of Pentacles is, um, is, you know, sort of a small offering, a small message, you know, how are you? Um, it's intended, though. It's, it has very solid, good intentions. But um, it, they're still in King of Cups energy, so they're not going to be expressing emotion. Um, you, however... Um, Sort of, um, I can't give relationship advice because I'm not a relationship professional or anything, but I do. But just be aware that you could be interpreting things that are that are well intentioned and good as trickery because of this, um, because of what you've been through. Okay, now I'm just going to see if we can get a little hint from Moonology Sat about you and your person. Can we have accuracy? Okay, so that's definitely it. You and your loved ones are safe. Now, I'll tell you what I think that means, apart from the very literal meaning. I think it's safe for this connection. I really do. Because this other person, if you don't have children, um, if you have children, you know, that's an obvious literal meaning. But I believe it, this um, this message relates to your person and you. And I believe that the overall, if you, it, what I always do with monology is I look at the major words. What words are coming out? You, love, safe, um, you know, one. So I do believe that um, it's safe to love <laughs> in this connection, okay? Um, Anyway, let me know how it resonates. If it 